You know, it's very interesting. I will tell the leadership, Doc Dampari, and uh, the leadership of the police council. Talk to your boys. The people on the ground, they know where all these boys are. Don't tell them that you need 20,000 or whatever, uh, you know, ransom to give to anybody. Share those monies to your own boys, corporals, whatever. They know! They know where all these criminals are. They know! If you doubt what I'm saying, the gun that killed Marcus at Sugarcope, how come a gun registered to the Ghana Police Service and to the armory, how come it went into the hands of an armed robber and finally landed up at Sarpeman? Lawless! The Ghana police service have so many sidearms that they can give every police officer a sidearm. Natintin Adema Hain, where do you beton? Tintin Adema Hain, Ketua, Obeton. The people who are in the service, many of them are not faithful people. And so when I say I promise on my honor to be faithful and loyal to Ghana, my motherland, I pledge myself to the service of Ghana with all my strength and with all my heart. I promise to hold in high esteem our heritage won for us through the blood and the toil of our fathers. Me, I'm my fathers, no my break. I'm serious. Fathers not break. So we fathers and we are not no more bra and can you so more I'm telling you, lawlessness. Lawlessness. Now, if if you what do you think that I'm saying is not right, it's not appropriate, let me use the opportunity to ask you. The young lady who died at Rich Hospital on the hands of negligent health officers, what happened to her? And what happened to her family? The one that died at Amasaman. We have soon forgotten. The one that happened at Insawim. And recently, the one that happened at Kikos. Lawless! And these people are still at post. Still at post. That is the attitude. So a godless country, faithless country, prayerless country, loveless country, lawless country. 